Welcome to Dano Does Things. This week I am making a felted koi fish for my cat to play with, since she loves wool and I don't really want her to play with some of my other projects. To start making the body, roll up your main wool color tightly. You want the roll to be really tight so that it's faster and easier to felt. The looser it is, the longer it'll take to get that nice firm shape you're looking for when doing 3D needle felting. Continue moving the body piece around and felting from all sides so that it's even. Once you're satisfied with how it's felted, flatten out one end to start forming the tail by felting from two opposite sides. Now we'll shape the various fins starting with the tail. You'll want to make a rectangular shape that is about as wide as your koi fish body is tall. This piece won't be very thick, so continue to flip it over and felt from both sides so it doesn't get stuck onto your felting surface. Once felted flat, felt a little notch into the middle to make an almost heart shape. Next we'll make the two little side fins. These can be pretty small, especially if you made your koi body small like I did, so really take care not to poke your fingers while you're felting them. If you have one, now would be a great time to use a thimble. I often use a leather one that I made, but I forgot to bring it with me and was too lazy to go get it. But don't be like me. Protect yourself. The last fin you have to make is the top one, which should be about half the length of your koi fish. As with all the other fins, leave a fairly long trail of unfelted wool below it, which will be used to connect the fins to the body piece. You can always shorten them before you start connecting them, so it's best to err on the side of caution and leave it long to start with. Finally, it's time to start bringing this koi fish together. Really take your time and focus on felting right where the body and the fins connect. You want the connection to be really secure so that the fins won't fall off or get pulled off easily. The wispy ends that you left on each fin will get felted both right at the connection and along the body of the koi to reinforce them. I also like to focus right on the edges to give the fins a very defined look as well. For the side fins, try to put them on evenly. I'm not super good at judging that, but when you put on your second fin, very lightly felt it on first, then look at the koi from a few angles to make sure that it's in the right place before permanently felting it down. Up next is the iconic koi fish spots. I went with the classic orangey red color, but you can really use any color you want. I think navy blue or lavender would look really cool as well. You can look up a picture of a koi fish and follow the pattern on it, or you can just use your best judgment and start making spots wherever feels right. I just kept adding small spots until I felt like I got a fairly good coverage. Keep in mind that since the fins are pretty thin, if you put a spot on them they may show through on the other side. Use this time to also felt any areas that look particularly fuzzy. Now we are going to use some navy blue and a single small felting needle to make the eyes. I also like to add just a touch of white to the eyes to give them a little glimmer. Trim up your koi and then all you have left to do is name them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that we'll see you next week.